Let yourself feel exactly as you feel. However you're feeling is perfect. It's perfect right now. Daydreams about, <laughs> about beaches with, with A-list pop stars or, <laughs> or considering solutions to family situations. Perfect. Just let it be as it is. And um, what we're introduced to with the Balanced View training is open intelligence, which is our intelligence that we can identify right now. And if we just stop thinking for a moment, we identify very directly a bright intelligence that's always on. And the thoughts and emotions, they keep coming, and we see that they're inseparable from this intelligence, only known through this intelligence inseparable like the color blue in the sky, not different. Our thoughts, emotions, and sensations are part of the great flow of intelligence that we are, we are part of. So when we, so the instruction of short moments, which is the first of the four mainstays of balanced view, is a, is a completely profound piece of guidance and support. That we just, for a short moment, rest mind and body is one way. For a short moment, let everything be as it is. For a short moment, acknowledge the vast open intelligence that's always present, that's perceiving everything, that's clear, clear by nature. Open. Intelligent. (laughs) (laughs) And for short moments, we simply relax as open intelligence, rely on open intelligence in whatever data stream that's coming up. And we just see it's, it's totally inseparable. You can't take the thought and emotion out from reality and put it somewhere else. Everything, indivisible. And so we just relax as this great intelligence that we are and honour ourselves in that completely. Honour our minds our incredible minds, incredible reality, dynamic, diverse, bursting forth, countless, ceaseless, dynamic presentations, the display. Just can't pin it down. Like what you felt a moment ago is gone. What you thought a moment ago is gone. Can't predict what thought will come in the next moment. So we just remain open. And that's the practice of short moments, remaining open letting yourself be just as you are. And um, what I've just seen for myself in that is settling into that, giving myself time to settle into that, that way of being, just being myself, increasingly filling myself as I am, relaxing into myself as I am, loving myself as I am, feeling uptight, loving that uptightness. What a, dynamic display it is, you know, and it was <laughs> like really feel like stamping your feet, like <laughs> and um and maybe you do. Brilliant. And just but just in that, just relaxing completely. Like loving that data completely. Like you're not in a contrived like, yes, now I really like to be uptight, you know, thinking about just relax. It's, it's, it's all fine. It's fine to feel however we feel. It is a perfect wisdom appearance of right now. And, um, and that's just what we get used to and start to embrace that natural power rather than, I mean, just from in my experience, um, you know, learning that things like feeling uptight were wrong and a sign of failure and that I'm somehow doing something wrong or someone else is doing something wrong and, and there had to be a big story attached to it and... Um, it had to be fixed and sorted out and, and then many other data streams along with that, things that I just labelled as negative. And, um, and just seeing, I would just spend all of my time trying to, well, firstly looking at my data and trying to avoid them and change them, labelling them constantly, describing them in order to understand them, and just muting down my power, using my energy in that way just using my mind in that way. It's really that simple. It's the use of the mind. And so when we come to the Balanced View training, we learn a new way to use our mind, to allow our mind to be wild, free, powerful, complete in each moment. 
And just in my experience, what that opens up is such a freedom, a freedom to be as I am and a freedom to relate and connect and understand others. Because when I'm not pushing away my own data, I get to know myself very intimately and I get to know everyone. When I can allow depression to be as it is, I understand how it is for other people to feel depressed, which I didn't before because I was so scared of it. And then I couldn't relate to anybody who had that. I mean, to an extent, basically by trying to replace it for them because that's just what I had learned to do with myself. So then having the courage, and the courage comes through the support of the four mainstays, comes through the support of balanced view. So simple, so like totally simple. The practice of short moments of just letting ourselves be as we are. And then media, training, trainers, community. Training and media is one. That makes four. <laughs> I said five makes six. But, <laughs> but just that there's, there's just a, an incredible flow of support that constantly reminds us that we can relax as we are. That actually, in relying on open intelligence, we empower ourselves completely. And that this empowerment is available to everybody. It's not a special set of people. It's not one person who has it. This is a support to show everybody that this is their power, that we can feel everything, and it's important that we do. It's really important that we do. As human beings, we get used to how we are. We get used to reality as it is, and we not run away from ourselves anymore. But we face data head on, and we see that it resolves like a line drawn in space again and again. Don't you see that? back into open intelligence. So there's really nothing to be scared of in our flow of thoughts and emotions. And just in relying on open intelligence, we shift our focus. So I saw for myself, rather than constantly giving my attention to how I'm feeling, what's going on inside, what does it mean, like, okay, today is it a good day, is it a bad day, how do I step out into the world, can I be confident, all based on this internal world that I was emphasizing, shifting the focus, just open-minded, completely open-minded, resting, allowing the flow of data to be as it is, not getting into descriptions, letting descriptions flow on by. Vast, comprehensive view in each moment. And then living from there, and that's, it just, so exciting. It's so exciting. It's like, wow, I can wake up and feel any way, and that's fine. Totally perfect, complete, pure love. It doesn't matter. We are each so unique, each of us in our expression, and we need to embrace that uniqueness. However we are feeling, pure superpower right now, nothing else. Every single human being, seven billion people. It's just, it's just time. <laughs> just get over this old way of making ourselves flawed and wrong when it's just not the case. And, um, and so if what's coming up for us is like, I've got too much to do and I can't do it all. We, we... And I totally understand wanting to do it all myself. Yes. <laughs> because it all just, you know, like, like, I mean, the incredible care that we want in order to see things done, just in order to safeguard the benefit of all, basically, like the best possible outcome for everyone. What I've seen in myself, like relaxing, taking support in those areas where I see I'm just trying to control and just opening up. And even if times it feels like, ah, you know, like, oh, I don't want to, no, no, not someone to come and help. <laughs> and then I like, just wish you just relax, relax completely. And you see yourself so clearly. And then somebody comes to help. And it's like, <laughs> and it's like that person with their incredible view and perspective even if still the data's raging, you know, they're like, they're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, how I, not how I would do it and everything that comes up. 
right there, relying on open intelligence. This is teamwork. This is how it happens. This is how incredible collaboration comes about. It's not about getting rid of the data stream or changing it. We let that be as it is. That's our power in that situation. We just shift the focus to open intelligence. See, completely inclusive, completely relational, totally open. And then what I've seen for myself, just in relaxing in those situations, like what is of most benefit just becomes clear. And like the contribution of the other person, of myself, of the entire new situation is enhanced in ways that I couldn't on my own do. So it's just such a gift. And then there's deeper relaxation that comes from that and assurance in open intelligence. And taking support in, in all situations. So it, once you've completed the 12 empowerments, you have a personal trainer, a balance you trainer. And it's just the most incredible. It's a way to basically reflect on experience, on data streams and open up situations to see what is of most benefit. And it just becomes clear. Like even just in the writing of an email, it's like, yeah, OK. <laughs> I think I know what needs to be done there. Just in that disposition of firstly asking for support, open. Wanting to see what is of most benefit, open. And. Um, and so we really, in any situation, we can just take that to our trainer and just, it just knowing that incredible benefit will be the result.